you're sick of getting ghosted when you're doing B2B lead generation and you haven't tried sending Loom videos and you haven't tried sending Loom videos at scale without you having to do any extra work, then watch this video because I'm going to walk you through how you can send Loom videos at scale to prospects and also probably showing you something that you have never seen before where you send personalized landing pages to people designed to get them booked in for a sales call. So with that being said, let's get into it. And just before we dive in to give a bit of context as to why we actually send Loom videos to prospects is there's two reasons. The first reason is it piques someone's curiosity. It sort of breaks that loop of people sending and receiving uh, loads of cold emails and just not responding to them because it just looks like another generic sales message. So it piques someone's curiosity. And the second thing is when they actually watch a video of you, it builds just that little bit of trust with you and the prospect. It humanizes it and then they are more likely to go and book a call with you because they've already seen your face, they've already seen you talk, etc. So this is how it actually looks like in terms of the flow. So you're going to basically get your lead list from a lead source like Apollo, LinkedIn Sales Navigator, whatever it may be. You're going to basically pull this lead list and then you're going to use a platform to actually go and create these videos. And it's an evergreen video that you send to basically all your list of prospects. So you could have a thousand contacts on in there and it's gonna be sent this same video. So you can use a tool like Sender. I'm not affiliated with any sort of tools like this. There's loads of other platforms to do it, to use it. You can use Replic, you can use uh, Pitch Lane. There's loads of other tools. And essentially all this is allowing you to do is basically create the video at scale. So then you can plug it into a tool like Instantly or you can plug it into a LinkedIn automation tool or you can plug it into you know your Instagram sending tool whatever it may be I'm gonna be walking you through how you can send cold loom videos at scale with instantly so your cold email and then they literally just go and book a call it's as simple as that so basically what it looks like is if you're using instantly you're going to use a cold email tool and it's going to say hi adam and then you've got this video which is like a gif that's embedded this is actually a, a email that we sent before and then what happens there is they can see the GIF of you, they can see their website in the background, they can see their logo. What Sender allows you to do is it, it basically takes them over to a personalized landing page that looks somewhat like this. So you can customize this to however you want. You can see it's got their logo on there, it's got their website in the background, and it's got their first name, and then it's pulling their company name. You know, you can pull lots of different sort of pieces of information uh, depending on what the lead list that you've got, but that is basically what it looks like. So I'm just gonna run you through. I've obviously used lots of other tools to actually go and send Loom videos at scale. This uh, this campaign in particular was using Sender, which is what I'm gonna walk you through. Pretty small test, but we only sent just under a thousand emails. Uh, and then we got a 6% uh, reply rate, so 12 opportunities. Now, you know when you're getting cold outbound right when you get responses to people where they basically say I wouldn't typically respond to cold emails or cold calls but I just might be interested this time around if you get responses like this this means you're doing something right and it probably means you're doing something that not everyone else is doing and then just some more examples here where we've booked people and you know might be worth exploring uh, loop, looping in Owen my co-founder we had a call with Owen um, and then happy uh, thanks for this happy to have a chat next week you've got thanks for the loom you've got thanks for reaching out please feel uh Feel free to send me the next video because I explained that I would send another video. Open to chat, Ben, book in the time with my calendar. So you can see it works because you're not just in that bucket of people where you're just sending cold outreach and these dragged out pictures. So how do you actually go and do it? So basically, this is what it looks like. You're going to have your lead list from Apollo. So you've got people's first names, email addresses, website, etc. Now, all the tool allows you to do is go and if I, if I just scroll over to here, it allows you to go and create a personalized, um, a personalized page. So you can see ones that I've created here. So basically what happens is it's pulling their logo. I'll just zoom in so you can see. It's pulling their logo and you've got a video of me in the corner and I'll just show you another example. So it's literally the same exact template where they can go and book a call and then you've got your video here i'll just show it for a second hi my name's ben i'm just sending you a quick video just to explain how okay so their video is going in the background and we're pulling that from this lead list here so i'm going to show you how you would actually set this up yourself so basically if you go over to apollo i'll just delete those if you go over to apollo and you would then go and filter who you want to reach out to. You don't have to use Apollo. I'm just, for this example, showing London-based computer software companies with employee headcount of one to uh, 11 to 50. So all you would do is download these um, uh, as a CSV export and upload it to sender. So I've already done that just to save a bit of time. So all of those leads are now here. So you've got the first name, last name, job title, email, so on and so forth. Now, 
to actually go and create those personalized landing pages at scale, all you do is click on Data Studio, and then you would basically go and enrich the data. So what we do in order to go and pull their logo, which is what you saw uh, next to it, you need to go and basically enrich the company uh, LinkedIn profile. So we just go next and then run on all, all rows. So we'll actually run that. And then the second thing you need to do is go over to the data studio and you've got loads of different ways to actually create these sort of sales experience for people. But to be honest, like the, the main thing you wanna be looking at here is creating those personalized pages. You can also like return someone's uh, competitor name. This tool is basically clay and uh, replic or pitch lane merged into one. But in this video, just for simplicity, I'm gonna show you how to create those personalized pages. So all you do is click on the personalized page and now you have to create a template. So I think this was the template that I used before. And then you just map the fields where you want things to be customized. So I want to say their first name. So John, Sarah, whatever it may be. And then you've got their company name. So you wanna map it to company. And then you've got, do, 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 what else are we looking for? Dynamic logo. So we're looking for that dynamic logo, which was here. And then you go dynamic logo. And then, yeah, that's the only thing that we need. So then now you actually choose the video background. So what do you want to display next to your face? So you can display whatever you want, but typically, I mean, I always go back to just using the website. It performs the best when you're actually scrolling through the website in the background. And then you would add the GIF to order as well, because the GIF is what we literally are gonna be embedding in instantly to actually go and show the prospect. So if I just run on run that on all rows, and I'll show you what it actually looks like. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna show you the personalized page, firstly, to begin with. So what it's done here is pulling Andy's name, a quick video for you, and then you've got uh, this in the background, Hi, and then you've got his company ben, name. Just sending you and then he can go and book a call with me straight away. And then also what we need is the GIF here. So this is why we added those GIFs to order because the GIF here, if it loads that, let me zoom in so you can see it. That is what we're actually gonna embed into instantly because we need something visual to actually show them in instantly so then they are curious and then they actually click on it. Now, all I'm gonna do is just download this as a CSV file. And then what we're gonna do is go to instantly and I'll just do uh, test and then create a campaign. And then you wanna upload those leads that you just had. So you've got your CSV, put it in there, and then you wanna map the fields. So first name, last name, job title, email, company name, and then we wanna go down to personalization, wherever that is, to go and find that GIF, and then uh, that is what we're gonna embed into the email. So GIF embed, gonna go personalization, and then personalize page, We'll do, we'll do that as custom variable and then upload. So obviously don't copy this terrible copywriting, but basically what you need is the personalization here as the variable. So you just go to variables and it's the one that we just mapped. So we've got personalization, uh, sorry, personalization is there. I'll just delete that because we don't need two. And then now if I just preview this, it's gonna show that GIF and that is what we're gonna go and send to the prospect. So I'll just send this to myself and show you what it looks like. So basically this is what it looks like. So hi Jim, I made a quick video for you and then they click on it and it takes them over to the uh, landing page that we created. It's got his logo and then the video in the background hi. with his video go, with his website going in the background and then he can then go and book a call or simply just go and reply to the email. So it's as simple as that. And you can do this for thousands of prospects all in one go. So this type of outreach is really what stands out from all the other people that are doing cold outreach. They're just sending terrible copy, sending like dragged out emails. When you've got something like this, sometimes just the law of reciprocity where someone can go, Jesus, Ben's put a bit of effort into actually, you know, creating all of this. Maybe I'm gonna hear him out and then maybe they're gonna actually trust you a bit more because they can see that you put a bit of effort in. I've been on multiple sales calls where people have basically said, where they've responded to a message like this, like a Loom video, where, where basically they said, you know, I would never normally jump on a call with someone who's reached out to me, you know, a cold outreach form, but you know, I was curious to actually go and jump on or something's just told me I had to go and jump on a call with you. So this is the type of outreach that is gonna set you apart in 2026 when you are doing your B2B lead generation. And if you do want some support with your lead generation and you want some help with your cold outreach strategy or you want some help with your paid ads, click the link below and you will be able to understand how I might be able to help you. I will see you on the next one. Peace.